Okay. Jennifer, you, you got you needed to get more done today, I was gonna say. <laughs> I was slacking a little bit. So and you have a few different ones. Like you notice here this is obviously a, a standing, you know, a standing piece. Um, yeah, and you know, this go on the front of your car. <laughs> um, they don't make they don't make those anymore. Yeah, I know, because I dremel them all off. Those yeah. That's yeah. exactly why they don't make them. Anymore. <laughs> but with this piece in particular, what I wanted to talk about, if you look at the interior around the around the, the face, look at how nice those washes look on there. Just all the layers of color mixed with the texture. Really rich variation of color. And that's the nice thing about these washes, is like you can just keep layering and layering. If you find that they get, eventually if you add too many layers, what's going to happen is it's going to get dark. So then what you do, take your dry brush, lighten it up, go back in, put more layers. What I never recommend to do is go back to zero. Don't go back to white. You have all those other layers that you can feed off of, whether you like them or not. Doesn't matter. They'll add to the they'll add to the richness of the piece. Now, is that dap creating the texture in there? What is? Uh, it's dap and molding paste. I use okay. both. And then I use. It's called map. Map. <laughs> and then. <laughs> mold, 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 mold. I hit it with the heat gun and made it bubble. And then when it bubbled, I pushed it down. And then I hit it with the heat gun again. And then I covered it with acrylic paint. And then I did the texture. Oh, great. Oh, nice. And then of course.